Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on using Asset Panda. My name is Ryan George, and I'm the graduate assistant for Dr. Prince at the Richards College of Business, and today I will be walking you through uh, this process. So attached to this video should be a Word document that will show you step-by-step -step what you need to do to get into Asset Panda. So if you'll follow along with me, first we're going to go up here to this tiny little button and press Login. This will take you to the login screen for Asset Panda. First, you'll need to put in your email. I already created a test email for this purpose that I will be using. Then for the password, it is set to the generic password for all the faculty and staff, which is Wolves123 with a capital W. So then once you log in, it will ask you to promptly change your password. So we'll put in the current password, which is Wolves123. We go up here and we press save and we've changed our password. After we're done changing our password, we'll go over to this little tab right here and click on assets. The way that the system is set up, it is so that all faculty and staff will only see their personal assets. They will not be able to see the assets of other faculty and staff. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is look at your assets list and make sure all these assets are yours. So let's say for example, asset uh, 1039, that belongs to me. I can go into that asset and when it opens I can go to these actions and press the complete audit to complete my audit. However there's a simpler way to do it if you know that multiple items are yours or if multiple items are not yours. So let's go back to our assets list and we see let's say 1039 is mine and also 1040 is mine. We can check mark both these assets right here and then go to this little tab called group actions. When we get to group actions, we can complete audit. That will create a complete audit for all the items selected. So what we'll do is go to audit date and we'll click on today's date as the audit date. We will say yes that these items are in my possession and for our little uh, audit notes, I will put a test to signify to us that this is a test. Save and close and the audit has been successfully done for both of those items. Now let's say for item 1041 that this does not belong to me. In order to at, uh, do a complete audit on this item, I'll have to go in and do it individually. So I'll click on the asset. I will go to actions, complete audit, and this will allow me to complete the audit by itself with no other items attached to it. So we'll complete the audit date. We'll leave it checkmarked no that I do not have the asset and we'll put in a test there to know that it's a test. Save and close and this item's complete audit has been done. So once we're done with that, we have successfully looked at all of our items and assets that we have. We are asking that the faculty and staff do this as soon as possible when they get to, and this is going to be a new yearly process for us that we wish to do. Once you're done with that, you're done with Asset Panda, and you can go ahead and log out. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact Dr. Prince, and he will allow me... He will let me know so that way I can email you as fast as possible. Thank you.